hello welcome back to my channel today we are going to be watching new girl but i thought i would sort of document along watching the series and i did start it on friday it's now monday and i am i think midway through season two ish so i thought we would kind of recap over season one and then i will from then on I will kind of document like as I'm watching it um like each day or whatever I thought this was a cool concept so I hope you enjoy and yeah let's talk about season one this video contains spoilers I'm assuming the people that are watching this have already watched the show if you haven't basically it's an American sitcom and it's on Netflix in the UK if you want to watch it but obviously you can kind of watch along with me it's just gonna be like full of spoilers because I can't hold myself back and it wouldn't be a watch long if I didn't. So let's go through like the gist of the show. Uh, Jess is a middle school teacher, moves into an apartment with three men after she finds her boyfriend with another woman and breaks up with him. So basically she catches her boyfriend cheating on her and she then needs to find an apartment to move into and she finds this apartment with these three guys and she moves in with them and they're all sort of early 30s and i just i love the chaotic chaotic energy of this show it's exactly what i need right now when i literally have like no idea what i'm doing with my life like neither do these people really so it's it's the energy that i need first point i've got written down i love that the title sequence is taken from that first episode when she finds her boyfriend cheating and she goes in dressed um well she's not she's she's got a coat she's wearing a coat she's basically naked and she goes in and she's like who's that girl who's that girl and she's singing this song it's just and i love that they use that like for the intro and it's so catchy and i just catch myself singing it all the time oh i also love the end of the first episode they literally those guys have known her like hardly any time at all they think she's a total weirdo but as soon as they find out that that guy that they kind of set her up with has ditched her on her date they all leave their party and they go and like they save her from the embarrassment of having like not the date not turning up oh it just it makes me so happy the towel scene the scene where schmidt and nick are like no that's my towel no that's my towel he's like why did you wash a towel the towel washes me i saw that on tiktok and when i watched it i was like oh it's from new girl <laughs> what else have i got down here jess is absolutely hilarious I, I can relate to her in the sense of like chaoticness and like oh, she's absolutely hilarious i like wish i was that funny but she's so weird but like i'm kind of that weird too so oh i love it i need that energy ah, the tension between nick and jess nick is my favorite out of the the roommates schmidt is just i mean they literally call him a douchebag and he is a douchebag the douchebag jar gets me every time winston i'm really not fussed on i like the three of them together where did coach go coach was literally in the first episode and then he disappeared i was talking about the tension between her and nick there's so much there when do they get together can it please hurry up because it's not happened yet i need it and she was literally saying that when she was dating that guy russell that um she wanted the energy like the kind of relationship that he and his ex-wife had where they were like shouting at each other and like arguing but it was like passion and she literally went home and she had that exact fight with nick and i swear she didn't see it and i was like girl come on i think both of them know that they both have feelings for each other but they're not they're not doing anything about it they're pissing me off i like schmidt and he sometimes he does things i'm like Ugh, i hate you and then other times i'm like no okay i like you again um i love him and cc together will that change i don't know um yeah i'm really not that bothered about winston i'm not don't really get what he's doing i feel like there's not as much of him shown as the other guys which is kind of annoying honorable episodes in season one the thanksgiving episode i thought that was really funny the 23rd the christmas one where they go to candy cane lane and they're like taking 
the guys to the airport and then Nick detours and he's like no we have to go to Candy Cane Lane and see all the Christmas lights and they wake everyone up um to turn on the Christmas lights at like 3am I love that injured the episode where they thought Nick was uh Nick had cancer and they like went to the beach and he like ran into the water and then he was like what am I doing I love that episode and I also really liked the episode I think it was normal and it was where they played that game is it called true American or it's like the floor is lava and it's like a drinking game but I really want to play that game it looked really fun I didn't think I would like this sitcom like format but I do it works it's it's really light-hearted and funny and it's exactly what I needed right now we'll see we'll see where we go from there but yes that is season one I will see you when I watch some more new girl <laughs> Land of Tipton's really great really great really great oh my god it actually is <gasps> Is this about to happen? Oh my god. Why did Sam show up? Right at the moment. Wait. He's taking them on. Not like this. Oh my god, he fully went for it. I've been waiting for it. I've been waiting for it. <laughs> the panic. Moonwalk. <laughs> I literally just finished season two. I only realised it was season two because the title <laughs> intro changed. And I was like, hang on a minute. We haven't had a previously on New Girl uh, bit at the start of an episode before. So I was like, ah, this is the start of season three. Season two. Oh my god, I'm just looking through it now. So much has happened in season two. I mean, the biggest thing that's happened is that Nick and Jess. I'm not. I'm not quite convinced by it, which is strange because I'm totally all about Nick and Jess, but uh, it's gonna go badly, isn't it? I mean, Jess keeps saying like. Nick you're such a mess you know and like her dad was all being like this isn't gonna work here's me they like this is ruined like already Jess is pretty much a mess too they're both just absolute chaos maybe they can cancel each other out who knows I really have no idea what to expect this season but I mean it just left off with Cece's wedding I mean I thought she was going through with it to be honest but like of course she didn't she shouldn't have um but I thought she was kind of you know just going along I'm glad she finally stood up for herself it only took a horse and a badger but you know this is so strange this show is weird uh let's think honorable mentions episode wise I think the later half of this season is better isn't it they played True American again didn't they I don't know what it is about that game I really want to play I mean can we just talk about Taylor Swift what the heck is Taylor Swift? What, what was that about? Elaine as well. Yeah, get Taylor Swift in an episode and then call her Elaine. Oh my god. Schmidt is just, he's on another planet, isn't he? Party that he planned for like him and Nick for their like 10 year, <laughs> like living together anniversary. Oh god. I don't, at the same time, it, it's the kind of energy that like you kind of need as well. I think honorable mentions have to go to the fish tank <laughs> where he was like all about the fish and then they were like, Duh, this is a metaphor for Cece, and he's like, no, 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 it's about a fish. Nothing beats Nick saying, <laughs> smashing the fish tank and then saying, I'm gonna go get some paper towels. Like, that was a heck lot of water, mate. Actually, I quite liked the episode where Nick's dad dies and um, he has an Elvis wedding and then Jess ends up being Elvis. Oh, and I liked their kind of like first date as well. Where they were like, this is not a date, this is a date, this is not a date. And they just got absolutely pissed. That guy Sam that she was dating was really weird too. I didn't like him. He was like a big child. Like, I don't know, he just spoke like a child. That was season two.
Just are we in Mexico? The Dawson Creek theme tune in Nugo. Come on in, kids. The water's deep. I may have only just finished season two yesterday, but I also yesterday finished season three. Oh, that's so bad, isn't it? I watched the whole of season three yesterday. I loved that season. Um, the end absolutely broke me broke me broke me i can't even talk that's great so that season obviously season two ended off with nick and jess deciding to just go for it and see what happens and then the whole season was like them together and i loved it it was great oh and then it just crashed oh dear i'm really starting to appreciate uh schmidt and winston's friendship now and also just winston in general i wasn't really bothered about him he's pretty funny actually in in season three the cat ferguson is cute also coach came back he was literally in like the first episode and then just like disappeared and i got a bit confused by that storyline i didn't really get what was going on there either way i didn't like him at the beginning of like season three when he came back i was like oh coach no but I think that's because also he wasn't really giving Jess the time of day and he was just being like, oh, she's Nick's girlfriend. But actually when he did start to see her as a friend, uh, which is what she wanted as well, I think then I was like, yeah, I do like you. So I think I think that's all it was. Although there were a few bits like he was just like, meh. But yeah, I like them all together. I like how Cece spent more time with everyone as well this year. This year? <laughs> God, this episode... Uh, episode the season oh my god i can't talk there's literally one episode that stands out to me when i look at this list the prince episode like the fact that they got prince in new girl is hilarious and that episode was like god tier episode looking at this like that's episode 14 oh my god the birthday episode i'm sorry i missed i missed that one too the one before that's so 13 and 14 that's actually two episodes of the season and I think there was like bits along the way as well that I loved, but I honestly think they could have continued the flirty banter, the arguing, the tension of those two, at least a season or two more. Because now that it's crashed, the show has kind of crashed too. I mean, I, I'm only a couple of episodes into season four. <laughs> it's lockdown. What else is there to do other than watch TV? There's nothing. I actually preferred the first two seasons over this season. Yeah. This episode, actually, it just happened. It's Ren from Pretty Little Liars. I think he's about to date Jess, so that's going to be interesting. I don't think they're going to bring in any more characters that, like, obviously, this is Endgame, right? Nick and Jess is Endgame. There's not going to be another character that we could honestly be like actually i prefer her with him or you know or even nick like i can't see them having another relationship that actually stands as strong as that one and i think that's where some tv shows go wrong so yes that's season three i've also read that apparently it just goes even more downhill from here so we'll see i know i've seen max greenfield before in something he was in an episode of the oc I just did some more googling because I was trying to find a picture of um, of Schmidt as a young Sandy Cohen and I found a picture of him next to Peter Gallagher but like a new photo of them actually stood together um, and I was like hang on a minute so I just saw this photo and I was like hang on a minute this is New Girl does Peter Gallagher make a, an appearance in new girl and not only does he make an appearance but he plays schmidt's dad what a crossover that's so cool that's so cool okay i need to stop reading i've just seen that he says he makes out with jess jess that's schmidt's dad stop <laughs> i just finished season four and I just had to pull myself together before I spoke to you because that ending was amazing. It was a beautiful moment 
and then there was like hope and possibility and friendship and I'm way too emotional to be filming this. I loved that season. I didn't think I was going to. I thought to begin with I was like Nick and Jess have broken up like you peaked in like season two and three. Can this really get any better, you know, get better from here? But I mean, it didn't, it didn't. That season actually like started and ended like cleverly that I really enjoyed. They started off um, like going to loads of weddings over the summer, you know, like complaining about it or whatever. And then kind of like ended off with a wedding of their own to look forward to. It felt like they, they grew a lot that season. I really enjoyed it. Okay, I'm here to talk about standout episodes in season four. And I'm actually just looking through them. And season four was pretty good episode wise. I loved uh, the landline episode where they got um, a landline phone in the flat and everybody was leaving messages and Nick was just picking up the phone and pretending to be everyone's secretary. It was so funny. And he had like all his little post-it notes and was like writing everything down. That was great. Background check where Winston had his like house check um, like for becoming a, a police officer. And um, <laughs> Jess bought that footstool and inside it she thought it was meth and they were trying to get rid of it while they were trying had this woman that was there to do the background check but it was actually aquarium rocks that was so funny and they were like so stressing about it and, oh it was so funny it was so chaotic i loved it coach becoming the the volleyball teacher at the school and just generally coach I loved Coach in that season. Uh, he actually left, I think, at the end, didn't he? Jess and uh, Ryan, i.e. Ren from Pretty Little Liars. It was weird seeing him in the show, but I kind of liked them-ish a little bit. Um, he was just really flaky, wasn't he? I loved the episode at the airport where Jess was like, I can't go, I can't go, I can't go. And Nick made everyone get off their flights and got her together and was like, you're going! We love Nick. Schmidt finally getting Nick to sort his act out and trying to start a business together. That was so cute. And Schmidt finally deciding that he was in love with Cece. He met that woman and she could basically give him like everything he wanted in life. But he realised that she couldn't give him love. And that that's all he really wanted and that Cece was the one. And then he proposed at the end and... It was so cute. So cute. And I have actually just gotten to the end of season five. Um, so let's talk season five. I just want to say that season four I thought was the best structured season so far. It had a good, like, started off with them going to loads of weddings, ended up with a proposal within the group. I thought that was a very good rounding up. Season five, bit of an odd season really. Jess left midway through, but I think they dealt with it really well. She left midway through but came back. And you could actually tell at the beginning of season five that she was very pregnant and they were obviously trying to cover it up because they didn't want to include it in any of the storyline. And I think she obviously left for like maternity leave. I was reading that they filmed the start of season five at the end of season four and they started filming season five. She was off and then she came back. I think they dealt with her character not being there really well she was just off on jury duty which i thought was a great way to do it. it they didn't nobody had to have like a big fight with her and she left or anything there was literally nothing wrong it was just that like she had to leave and she couldn't be in contact with anyone because it was a big case i thought it was a great way to get around that i actually think all the characters held up really well without her being there reagan character coming in and taking jess's room I don't really like her character, but obviously that's because she's coming between Jess and Nick. Um, I also just think it's Nick. He acted like a child around her. Like he couldn't talk and he couldn't do things just because she's really hot. And it just kind of annoys me because like Megan Fox always plays those characters, the hot girl. Other than that, I liked her character. Not really any stand out episodes per se. I loved schmidt and cece's wedding bed wedding planning and just schmidt generally he's just gone from douchebag to like lovable character jess when she came back from jury duty just wasn't quite the same her i don't know whether it's the script the way she's acting was just like almost even more of a mess than before 
and just it didn't quite sit right she came back and I was like mm, she's changed um which is a bit weird this was Schmidt and Cece's season I, I love that Nick is like bar manager now I love that too that was good Ugh, Jess getting back with Sam was just a mistake Winston becoming a cop I love that I love that we got more of Cece we got more of Cece because we had less of Jess and I'm okay with that hi Jess is amazing I thought that episode was hilarious I also really liked the wedding eve episode and landing gear the wedding episode oh my god right at the end of the season that was such a wholesome episode I think that was the best episode of the whole season it was really chaotic proper new girl style wedding Schmidt wasn't even there he had the wedding on the plane on his own with all the of the people on the plane but he got on the plane to go and get Cece's mum because he knew that the only thing he wanted was to make her happy and that if his mum if her mum wasn't there then she wouldn't be happy and that wasn't okay and that just made my heart so happy right at the end when he finally gets off the plane and back um to LA and they have the wedding in the apartment I fully sobbed and it was beautiful it was just oh, so amazing and then Jess realizing that Sam dumped her and realizing that it took him telling her that she liked Nick for her to realize that oh I like Nick I didn't really like the way that happened because to be honest I don't think she really did realize that herself Nick kind of needed to have done something more for her to realize that herself but the bit at the end of the episode where he's saying oh my god I can't believe it Raylan came back for me and she's like stop putting yourself down you need to realize you're incredible oh my heart just hurt so bad for her but can we just talk about how beautiful cc and schmidt's wedding was mm. the party bit was good and then the actual wedding and the loft was just so cute he said oh my gosh we need a glass nick turns around and finds the douchebag jar and then schmidt smashes it so see a tradition isn't it but oh my god that was like a defining moment not a douchebag anymore getting married that made my heart so happy because he hasn't been a douchebag in a long time honestly the best growth for a character i hope that keeps going we'll find out because i'm about to start episode six of episode six episode one of season six nick's been away for a couple of months and he got skinny and just got buff <laughs> just me again coming to say that winston is such a good friend and i love that jess is admitting her feelings for nick this is gonna be a good season i can feel it i've realized that i'm having a hormonal emotional day but that first episode of season six nick's come back and he's written a book he dedicated it to jess or partly to jess all that she has done for him and Schmidt and Cece have got their house and Winston was the cutest friend oh my god I can't remember when the last time I spoke to you was and I can't believe I've been filming this on my phone the entire time this is stupid anyway I'm on the last episode of season six I think I last spoke to you yesterday when I was on season like the maybe at the start of this season um, so I don't really know fully what I want to talk about, but right now I just want to talk about this finale episode. I haven't finished it yet. It's about to finish, but I just wanted to talk about everything up to this point. Um, well, some things. Ali and Winston, I absolutely love them. Schmidt and Cece are just being cute and kind of forgotten, but the last season was quite a lot about their story, so that's cool. I love that Jess has, like, come to terms with that she loves Nick. Um... But also it's breaking my heart because she's so torn up about it she can't even like see him and oh i mean nick's just a bit stupid in general isn't he but he hasn't realized that all the time whenever he says something about jess like there's you can tell there's so much love there in the last episode trying to contact her and she wasn't picking up and he was like saying on the phone like you always know what to say like i really need to talk to you like, I don't know what to do. You're the one that always helps me. And it's like, Nick, just realise it. And I love that in this last episode, I've literally watched 
probably like the first half maybe that so far Cece and Schmidt are both like so in the like Nick and Jess like need to sort him out and like the reason he broke up with Reagan is because he he's ready for the relationship with Jess the one that she wanted to begin with breaking my heart but I can see the light at the end of the tunnel I'm so excited I'll see you at the end of the episode most likely when I'm crying oh my god and Winston Ali's found contact to his dad also Schmidt's real name is Winston Schmidt is sorting him out. Good old Schmidt. <laughs> I'm actually crying already. Okay, but why did they put the most important looking scene on the credits? The credits were on the screen and then it... it <gasps> I just needed like a little bit more because the tears aren't quite there yet. That episode was beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Cece and Schmidt having a beat. So cute, Winston called his dad. See, that to me felt like, like nearly the end. I'm so glad that they had given us like a, a flash forward. Yeah, season seven, about three years later. That episode was so perfect. It didn't, what, the one thing I just wanted was a few little flashback moments. And we only got that through like Nick's book characters and the dirty dancing song i've had the time of my life i kind of wanted to like see a flashback moment ruth is the cutest child ever she reminds me so much of jamie the little boy in one tree hill they've got the same sass and i love it <laughs> so season seven oh my god I say it was perfect but it was also like not quite what I wanted but it wouldn't have been New Girl if it wasn't all really chaotic so it was only eight episodes I honestly I'm not gonna lie to you I could have had a full season of that era I loved it. I, I, I could have quite happily had like another time jump even. I loved Schmidt as a dad. Oh my god. He was the cutest with little Ruth and oh my god she was so sassy. I also loved seeing the other characters interact with her, especially Nick. Um, obviously we got to see Nick and Jess in a proper adult relationship and that warmed my heart so much because Nick was just, he was fully in it and it just it made me so happy. Because the last season was so sad because Jess was really like pining for him. Oh my god, it was a made me remember that it was kind of a repeat of what happened with Cece and Schmidt. The engagement was cute because she kept doing things that like was like annoying him because he wanted it to be perfect and she was making every moment not perfect. I loved the dog Mario because it was a Jack Russell, exactly like my dog. Everything like linked up like the moments when they first got together was like with the elevator and then he wanted to propose in the loft and then he was going to take her to where they went on their first date which just shouldn't have happened because that was chaotic <laughs> but i like the way it happened and she like noticed that he got a sweaty back oh and the movie in the background that was playing was dirty dancing that's what like to the first season oh. and then the wedding <laughs> the wedding <laughs> the curse that was all quite hilarious but I wish they'd just given them a proper wedding. Um, the eye patch really pissed me off. Why did they have to do that? Why couldn't she just, I don't know, have a broken leg or something? Why did she have to, like, ruin her face? That was annoying. And it was cute that they did it in the hospital. Oh my god, and Winston and Ali were having their baby. I wish that they'd, I don't know, said some vows. They literally were like, I do, I do. That was it. I was like, oh, come on, give give me more. I understand the needing to have them move out of the loft because it really ties it all together. It's like fully moving on from like that chapter of their lives to like adulthood. Them leaving the loft was really emotional. I loved that they played True American for the last time. And the flash forward, I loved that the flash forward happened in that moment when they were playing True American. It was just like, it was like a window into the future of them playing True American with their kids, which was really cute. And like all the kids, Sit, Schmidt and Cece had another kid, Jess and Nick had a little boy, Ali and Winston had flipping loads of children. That was mad. 
and that was really cute that they were all playing that game but like kid friendly version I just thought it was a beautiful way to bring that together I can't believe they're leaving the the loft was Winston's prank though that was a really good I don't know like he'd always been pretty naff at pranks so that was like a fully like I mean it wasn't really a prank was it it was horrible I think Jess was probably really mad at him because uh, she loved that loft their whole lives I'm gonna get emotional Actually crying <laughs> and that loft was just so special to all of them so if you couldn't tell i absolutely loved that series it was a really good series for me to watch actually right now because i'm at that stage in my life where i really don't know where it's going but the fact that that show was not it wasn't based on 20 somethings it was based on the people they were in their like early 30s and they still hadn't really got life figured out and i think that was just a really true like observation of like how life just happens differently for people and that it doesn't you don't need to have everything figured out all the time but yeah it was nice to see a show of people just being silly and having a laugh and living life that's all i've got on new girl I'm fully obsessed with it. I can't wait to watch it again. I really hope you have enjoyed this video. It's been a roller coaster. I've actually really enjoyed documenting watching this show. If you've got this far, thank you so much. Yeah, thank you so much for watching and I will see you soon for another video. Bye. <laughs>